first hit, so the scaling can benefit you in these first game situations. But we did just see Cho'Gap hit six. First rock goes aggressive, has that feast, and Ooh. immediately he feasts on set. First kill of the game of the series goes over to first rock. Yeah, I'm just gonna take a little look at the golds here. The, again, the only real. Ooh. This is a very aggressive play from Ambos. Flashing forward, doesn't have the heal available. Paranoia is going to come through. A big knight ticks down onto fourth rock, and Kryptmak picks up a kill. Return potential here as the Chaos Storm is thrown down on top of the Nocturne, and Killer Cam gets his first of the series. Kryptmak will be the death, second to die, and a double kill for the victor is not the end result that BDC wanted. Dragon is started up by Hills Road, and they are 2,000 gold in the lead. Yeah, so at least we'll have a little bit more uh, survivability. And now we've got a fight being started by the On the Hunt of Sivir. In comes Quantum with the Paranoia. It's her fourth rock who is going to die in this one. Big kill coming in for the jungler of BTC. Trying to make it a double. And it's Krutnak who takes this one away. Sadly, that kill not quite going over to the vein. And here come the teleport. OTB. We talked about them earlier on. And this is why they're so, so crucial. Krutnak splashing away but getting caught out by the rupture. A little more damage and Killer Cam will pick up the kill. Going on the killing spree. 3-0 and two in his own right quantum probably even breaking the base as well with the amount of pressure that on there oh walking oh into a choke point is not ideal for vain ambos completely wrecked double kill there for the vigar however who takes down the victor and the nautilus Siver throwing it back getting the nocturne but it's a tight 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 fight so far a two for two and we're seeing first rock die for the first time this game this fight has been won by bt if oh Amvoz immediately sent hurrying away on such low health on the back of that flash beast. Here's a potential first kill coming in. It's going to be Jaeger trying to use the showstopper to get to safety. Unable to do so. Fourth rock picking up one kill as we see Illicam getting the next. That's going to be a kill for Hogdog. They get a three for nothing and it's going to be a turret falling as well. Hogdog still. Definitely. Oh, big knock-up is going to land. Here comes the Feather Storm being thrown out. Trying to get the Feather Recall to land the stun. It's going to be Fourth Rock, who's already used the Flash. Trying to get to safety. One more shot might do it. Crouching Jaeger looking for it, but taking turret shots instead. Having to burn Ooh. the Flash. On going down for first blood from the second turret shot. Disaster oh. for BTC. Massive ultimate from First Rock. Just like that. Hills Road. Swing game number two in their favor. They find themselves three kills. They might have found themselves a championship. And suddenly the- And again, got to keep our eyes on those teleport timers. This time round, both teams running it on both top and mid lane. Elastic Slingshot comes in, Featherstorm already used by the Zaya. The counter gank comes in as Quantum Light tries to make the play. Assault and Battery will land a kill as Amboss takes down 4th Rock. Now here comes the teleport, Cassiopeia joining the fray as well. It's a 4 versus 3 on the bottom half of the map. Malkai and Tiki's coming in though. Here we go. This is going to be Malfoy joining with the Unstoppable Force available, looking for the big ultimate. Waits Ooh. out the Featherstorm, gets the knockup onto two. Zai gets obliterated as Hogdog gets a kill. Knockup oh. and four on to three, though, underneath the turret. And this is what happens when the Cassiopeia joins the fight, throwing out Twin Fang after Twin Fang. Zenith Flay back into a very, very awkward position. Blob form for the Zac, but he is mere flubber spread across the rift. Kills coming thick and fast. Most of them come over. Actually, I think it was an even trade in the end. Maybe a two in their favor. There is a Blast Cone available, so potential still could come through but Hogdog is nowhere near this one. Victor flanking on the side but is very alone. Suddenly has a lot of fodder for support. She throws down the solar flare and just catch on to Ambos but here comes B-Boy. He's going to take down Killer Cam. The fight is a very very messy one. Silver picking up by on the side and Steel comes in as Hogdog takes away the Infernal Dragon. Here goes Hogdog with a let's flounce going over the field but he gets caught out by the Feather Recall. Ambos trying to put the damage down and with a flash Hogdog takes down the Zaya. Crouching Jaeger now left to run for the hills. Andy B-Boy might not be so lucky trying to put the damage down. Ooh. The but the chilling smite comes down from above and another kill is picked up by Hogdog who I believe gets three kills and the infernal dragon into um uh, haunted guys adaptive helm no <laughs> no <laughs> does it build into anything else <laughs> all right let's see what's gonna happen in this fight Andy B-Boy still raining out masses of damage is so brave but gets struck by the unstoppable force but not taken out now he is as the Siva throws a boomerang his way Zaya picks up one kill into the Malphite it's returned as Cassiope is gonna fall in goes Crouching Jaeger having subbed in from the top lane only to die to the Siva who finds another kill makes it three taking out Ambos but here's the tree in the back line looking for the two low health targets isn't gonna be able to pick up one as Leone's gonna die trying to save the ADC's life fourth rock still running for the hills Hogdog still zoning as though his life depended on it instead it was Siva's life that depended on it. Here comes Vi. Another boomerang gets thrown through. Siva still doing damage from the back line. Quantum 7 trying to get away, but being pulled back by the stretching strikes. Hot Dog is on the a run. Okay. The monster. Fourth Rock staying alive, putting damage down onto the tree, but the tree doesn't take damage. Crouching Jaeger. 
has lost a little bit of health bar, but apart from that, it does Ooh. feel like there's potential contest. Don't Immediate the unstoppable here. force. Good damage coming out of Zaya. Fourth rock using the ultimate is now on the hunt, trying to pick up kills as Andy B-Boy takes down first rock. Cassiopeia is going to die on the back of it, though, and now it is all down to Zaya versus Sivir. Who's got the damage? Assault and battery straight onto the victor, forcing the flash out of killer cam. Ooh. Sivir putting down damage, taking down quantum yet again. Fourth rock having such a stunning game. Eight, two, and six. Trying to make it nine. Trying to take down the tree. Chopping it down. Yelling timber. Picking up a double kill. Only crowd and Jaeger and Ambos left alive. Will they? Yeah, definitely. Ooh, feel it. Oh, Ooh, first rock so close there with that ultimate. They don't want to be grouping They're grouped. Up. They're grouped so much. A good it ultimate. Oh! Right here. There it is. The three-man unstoppable force in jumps Hog. He's looking for more kills as fourth rock picks up one in the background. Killer able to get one, two. And that is a three, four, nothing. Make it four. Make it an ace. As surely there's nothing Cameroon can do to stop his team from going down now. The teleport already comes out of first rock. The carry of the first game trying to end the second Cameron trying to buy his team as much as he can but there's only so much a tree can do Groot's dead and so are BTC's chances of taking this series the Nexus turrets are under threat your new champions are going to be Hills Road Cretin from Cambridge they are going to avenge